guys, it's Melanie. Today I have a review for you of a couple of products that were sent to me from the Korean skincare company, Maybach. This video is being sponsored by Maybach today, so if you are new to my channel, anytime that I get offered a sponsorship, I will typically take the money from the sponsorship and donate it to a charity. Personally, I like animal related charities, so um, I usually choose to donate the funds to a rescue. So that is what will be happening today, per usual. Um, so a big thank you to me back for reaching out and wanting to partner on this video. I have been using the two products that they sent me for the last, it's been several weeks, almost close to four weeks. Normally, I like to be able to use a product for at least a minimum of six to eight weeks before I tell you guys about it, but they definitely would have preferred the video to come out a little bit sooner. So that is what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is my results so far using the products. I'll also tell you a little bit about the main ingredient of um, both of these products. So I have a moisturizer as well as a serum. So We'll be talking about the Sika, which is the um, prominent ingredient both in the moisturizer as well as the serum. I will be continuing to update you guys on these products and I will do a sort of wrap it up video <laughs> once I'm finished with both. Um, I have started, um, I've only done one video in the series so far, but I'm starting a series on my channel where when I finish a skincare product that I think is really worth talking about, um, I will take that empty product and just kind of run you guys through the entire gamut of whether I think it was worth it, what I really thought of the ingredients, um, you know, what it did for my skin long term, and, um, you know, just kind of wrap everything up in like a nice little package after I'm actually done using the stuff. So, so far I've been using it for several weeks and I have made a decent dent in both products because I have been using them both morning and night. Um, and I'll tell you where in my routine I put them. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about the, uh, the prominent ingredient here that is featured in both products. And that is Sika. So I'm going to give you guys the, uh, what I think is the like Latin name <laughs> for this particular ingredient. Um, apparently it's Centella Asiatica. So basically Sika cream is also known as tiger grass, I believe. It kind of looks like a clover. It looks very similar to a clover. And um, tigers uh, actually have been known to rub themselves up against this particular uh plant because it helps with wound healing and wound care. So um, tigers know what's up. So that is one of the um, kind of main uh, purposes of Sika is to help with repairing of wounds and scars. Um, that's definitely what they tout as the main benefit of this product, but there are also some other benefits. So basically the Sika is an anti, um, it's an antibacterial. So it is going to help to, uh, if you're dealing with acne, if you're dealing with breakouts, it's going to help to control that bacteria and help to heal your skin. It is also a potent antioxidant, which means it is going to help with anti-aging benefits. Um, it is also a very soothing ingredient and we've also talked about the healing. So there are several skin conditions that Sika can be used for that can be very beneficial. And essentially this particular ingredient, and I feel like we'll talk about the texture again a little bit later, but I feel like the texture actually makes them very usable for basically almost any skin type out there. And I am saying that coming from the standpoint of somebody who has very oily skin. Most of you guys are aware that I am 40 and um, my skincare concerns are that I have enlarged pores. I deal with extremely oily skin still at 40 years old. I thought it slowed down by now. It has not. Um, and I'm also, you know, dealing with 
aging concerns. So those are kind of the three main things that I um, focus on with my skincare. So um, Sika is used uh, for several different conditions, including acne. It helps to calm inflammation. It helps to soothe redness. Um, again, anti-aging is a big thing. It also helps with um, conditions like eczema, uh, rosacea, dermatitis. It helps to, again, resolve scars. So if you have some scars on your skin from recent breakouts or if you've been picking at your skin, the Sika is supposed to help repair and calm and soothe the skin. So let's talk about the serum first. This particular serum is probably my favorite product out of the two and there's there's only one main reason why I probably wouldn't repurchase this one but this I will hands down repurchase and um, it is a wonderful texture you guys I have been using this pretty much almost every morning on my face so starting up here all the way down to my decollete so usually I need about a solid two pumps to cover this whole area. Seems like a little bit goes a long way. Um, I will put this on after I put on my BHA, whatever BHA I'm using that morning. Um, so I will wash my face, put on the BHA. Sometimes I will use an additional serum and then I will go in with this. And I will show you guys the texture. It's really nice. It's like a very lightweight lotion. You can see it kind of wants to start running a little bit, but it does have some thickness to it. It absorbs very, very quickly. Something that is difficult for me is um, with my oily skin, it is hard to use products during the daytime that can um, provide too much moisture or um, make my skin shiny. So I'm always very careful about what I put on during the daytime. At night, I go hog wild on like a ton of moisture and lots of different types of moisturizers and facial oils and all that stuff. But that's because I'm going to bed and I'm not staring at, you know, like the oil slick on my face, <laughs> basically. Um, but so this absorbs very quickly. It leaves a very nice, um, I wouldn't say matte, but like satin finish to the skin. You immediately notice this surge of moisture. You notice this like just plumping from that moisturization. It seems to soak very deeply into my skin. Um, it's wonderful. So this is what I've been using morning and night. So they say that this is meant to calm and soothe the skin, help with anti-aging, it, strength, it strengthens, say that 10 times fast, the skin's moisture barrier, it boosts um, hydration deep into the skin and it improves the brightness and tone and texture of the skin. So what I will tell you is that I'm pretty happy with the overall tone and texture of my skin right now. Um, I do find that this is maintaining the progress that I've made very, very nicely. It plays well with all of my other skincare. It is not irritating, um, super gentle, great for daytime use, which is a huge thing for me to be able to use a product during the daytime. That's amazing. Um, and I just feel like overall it makes my skin look very, very hydrated, very plumped, a lot more youthful. I will say there is fragrance in here. That is one thing that I wish it did not contain. I don't think the fragrance is super crazy offensive. And I, unless you have the most sensitive, delicate skin that res, uh, responds to any type of fragrance, you should probably be okay with this. Honestly, the fragrance, it fades pretty quickly. Even right now, I really kind of have to stick my nose in it to be able to smell it. Um, so the other ingredients that you are getting in here that are definitely of note are um, glycerin. I happen to really like glycerin as a uh, moisturizer. Um, niacinamide is huge. Niacinamide is definitely at the very top of the ingredient list. There is also uh, obviously the Sika in here. Um, there is aloe, which is fantastic. Um, there is also algae extract in here, berry extract. So lots of really potent 
antioxidants, and they're all near the top of the ingredient list. So um, the fragrance is in here. I will say that it is down towards the bottom. Um, this is also uh, said to contain retinol. Um, so it contains vitamin A. That is near the bottom of the list. So if you see this and you see the retinol and you are normally sensitive to any type of retinol, I would still give this one a try because um, I, I don't think that I would use this exclusively as my retinol treatment. This doesn't have enough retinol oomph for me. And I really, I like to go at it with the retinol. But if you are just starting out, this might be a great way to ease into it. By the way, these products are super affordable. Um, they're right around the $20 range. They are a Korean skincare brand, so they're manufactured in Korea in some of their top manufacturing facilities. Um, they The products are distributed out of California, San Jose to be exact. So um, obviously the brand is cruelty free, by the way. I should have probably said that at the beginning. That is a requirement for me. There's no sulfates, there's no phthalates, and there's no parabens in here. So if those are things that you are concerned about, those are not ingredients that you will find in this product. Overall, this is definitely my favorite of the two. I will be repurchasing this myself. It's a wonderful product. I'm really enjoying it as a part of my routine. I will continue to use this, absolutely. All right, let's talk about the moisturizer. So this is the Sika Cream, and I will, you will know exactly what my complaint is about this product as soon as I show it to you. It is just a classic moisturizer jar and that's really my main complaint about this. I am someone who really likes the use of airless pumps or I would have loved it if they would have put the uh, moisturizer in this packaging here. I don't think it's thick enough to not come out of here, um, which is why I'm like, oh, why wouldn't you just put that in there? <laughs> it's because it's a really good moisturizer, you guys. It is it is a great moisturizer, but I just hate packaging like this. Um, there are such great airless pumps out there, and what I really like about the airless pumps is you really do get like pretty much 100% of the product out because the product is sort of like pumped up from the bottom, and by the time that you reach you know, your last pump, like you are guaranteed to have everything out of there, and you've never once had to stick your finger in there. Now, I do obviously apply this after washing my face and doing lots of other things in my routine, but I'm just big on not contaminating products. Um, usually if you use a moisturizer that is formulated really well within um, a certain time frame, for example here, this says 12 months, you should be fine, it should be fine, but it's still just a personal preference thing on my part. Um, but in terms of the actual moisturizer itself, it's wonderful, you guys. It is a little bit too much for me to use during the day. I'll show you the texture of this one as well. Now, I use this one every single night from here to down to my decollete. I use definitely a little bit more than this because I, I would need a little bit more than that to cover that entire area, but this would definitely be enough for my entire face and probably most of my neck. Um, I definitely have lathered this one on because it just feels incredibly good when I'm applying it. It is a thicker texture, but it's not as thick as some other moisturizers out there that are probably geared more towards like extremely dry skin. Um, like I'm thinking about like the Drunk Elephant Lala Retro, like that's very, very thick, takes a very long time to absorb. That is not the case with this. This actually goes in fairly quickly, but it is too much moisture for me during the daytime. But I've been loving this at night all over again, especially on my neck. I have been trying to be very diligent about treating my neck and my decollete just as much as I treat my face with my skincare because these areas definitely show age um, if you are not paying attention to them. I see a lot of women who put a lot of money into their skincare for their face and they never bring it down onto their neck or their decollete and it shows. Like, there's nothing worse than having beautiful facial skin and then you get to here and it's like, what happened? <laughs> 
Don't forget about this area. Um, it is usually exposed to the sun every single day, so also don't forget to put SPF on there. Um, again, it ages just as quickly as the rest of your skin does, so make sure that you treat this area and protect it. I love this, you guys. It's, it is a really, really good moisturizer. It provides good, solid hydration that I think even the driest skin type would benefit from, um, especially if you are using both products. Um, so the prominent ingredients in here, again, are, um, there's glycerin in here, which I really like. This also contains shea butter. Um, again, niacinamide, and um, a little bit further down, you have the aloe leaf extract, you have the fig extract, um, there is also uh, sunflower seed oil in here, jojoba seed oil, rice extract, algae extract, um, really, really great ingredients, you guys. There's hyaluronic acid in here. If you are at all in the market for a very nice, gentle moisturizer that is probably less expensive than what I normally talk about on my channel, this is again right around the $20 range. Both items will be linked down below for you, by the way. Um, Give this one a try, especially if you can, if you know you can use it up within a year, then you're, you're fine with this packaging. It's honestly, my complaint is just a personal preference thing. Um, and I just wish that skincare companies overall would go away from these like large gaping containers, unless it's for like a mask or something like that, in which case, you know, squeezy tube is still nice, but you know, like, for a mask, I can see that because those tend to go a little bit faster, but usually moisturizers are pretty concentrated and you don't need a ton. You guys, these are really great products. I know that I tend to talk a lot about pretty expensive skincare on my channel and I'm trying my hardest to get out of my like higher end like niche. <laughs> That I've kind of shoved myself into. Um, I have said before multiple times that I don't mind spending money on skincare as long as I can see good results, but I see really good results from both of these, um, and like I said, they're not crazy expensive. I would recommend getting both, but if I had to give you, if you had to choose between the two, if you have really dry skin, I would say get the moisturizer. If you are more combination to very oily like me, get this. You would probably get enough moisture from this both morning and night if you have combo to very oily skin. I don't know that this alone would be good for those of you with like crazy dry skin, but I think both of them together are really probably kind of the way to go. So I'm a fan, you guys. This especially, I will totally repurchase. I'm actually thinking about picking this one up for my mom. She is, I buy skincare for her a lot and she'll use it <laughs> and then she won't use it. You know, like she just, she kind of goes in and out. She just, she just doesn't care. It's fine. We're, we're totally different in that way. But I think something like this is great for my mom because it's very easy and she herself also still has that oily skin type. She does have quite a few scars on her face from when she was younger, dealing with breakouts and picking at her skin and all that stuff. Um, and I do think that the niacinamide in here would also be good for her because as you guys know, I talk about it all the time, niacinamide is the one skincare ingredient that is going to really help to actually shrink your pores over time. It's not an overnight thing. You need to use it very consistently. When you are looking for products with niacinamide uh, in them, make sure it's at the top of the ingredient list. The lower down, the lesser the concentration. So anyway, I hope this video was helpful for you guys and that you um, check this stuff out if you're in the market for some new skincare. I definitely recommend it. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments. Product will be linked. A big thank you to me back for sponsoring this video today, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.